ਸਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ we are reading from the holy bible psalm 46 god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore we will not fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried in through the mist of the sea though the waters thereof roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with swelling thereof sela there is a river the streams whereof shall make glad the city of god the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high god is in the midst of her she shall not be moved god shall help her and that right early the nations raged the kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the earth melted the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge sela come behold the works of lord what desolations he hath made in the earth he maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder he burneth the chariots in fire be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the nations i will be exalted in the earth the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge sela shall we pray loving heavenly father in the precious and mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ who died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day we are very thankful today for this blessed occasion that has granted to us for the induction of this aircrafts to our country we thank thee and praise the lord for the way thou art blessing our country and we specially pray that thou would keep this aircraft safe we pray for the safety of the pilots and lord we pray for our leaders especially honorable president prime minister home minister and defense minister we pray lord that they would grant them thy heavenly wisdom that they may be able to take wise decisions so that people may live in peace and it may be for the safety of our country lord we pray that they would uh, keep us all in peaceful atmosphere father our safety doesn't depend upon the weapons we possess but the bible says our safety is in the hands of living god so father we pray that thou would bless our country so that india may prosper and excel peace may prevail amongst people and thus we may live for thy glory for we ask all these things in the name and for the glory of our lord and savior jesus christ amen hallelujah amen the solemn ceremony has just commenced the raksha mantri would in a short while from now arrive at the main venue where you all are seated meanwhile we acquaint you with the history of air station ambala sure. air force station ambala the oldest base of indian air force has a glorious past and vibrant present being the oldest air base air force station ambala has a rich past since its formation in 1919 as camp ambala it has been a glorious journey of 100 plus 1 years almost all stalwarts of indian air force have had an association with ambala at some point of time these include first indian chief of indian air force air marshal subhrato mukherjee order of british empire and marshal of air force arjun singh distinguished flying cross so also the present chief of air staff air chief marshal rks bhadoria pvsm avsm vm adc the headquarters of royal indian air force were established at ambala on 1st april 1920 the fourth core recce wing was also located at ambala along with number 28 and number 31 scorn flying f2b's on army cooperation task later headquarter royal indian air force moved to raisina hills delhi in 1923 the early role of royal indian air force at ambala was to carry out reconnaissance and provide air cover for scouts and army columns moving in northwest frontier province 
number 28 squadron was involved in operations alongside army to subdue tribal disturbances on 18 june 1938 number 1 squadron royal indian air force moved from brig road karachi to its permanent location at ambala with this ambala became the training ground for many stalwarts of indian air force thereby giving the shape to present day air force it can also be rightly said that from this date onwards the destiny of indian air force and ambala got interlinked one of the most important units at the station was number 1 services flying training school which was established on october 1940 for intermediate and advanced training of the air crew of the indian air force the unit was renamed to number 1 service flying training school on 21st july 1941 In December 1940, the number one SFTS was rechristened as Advanced Flying Training School. Though the task of the school remained same, some courses were removed due to reduced strength of pupil pilots. The main difference from number one SFTS was that old instructions and pupils were Indians. While training remained the main commitment of the station, Army crew operation, aircraft interception, air raid, and blackout practices were also carried out on a routine basis. The station engaged itself in weekly combatant course, backers up training courses, demonstration and gas drill of the personnel, etc. Northwest Indian internal defence exercises, battle inoculation, and spot with the army. The objectives of these exercises were to formulate defense scheme against possible civil disturbances. With India becoming an independent nation on 15th August 1947, the command of the Air Force Station Ambala was handed over to Group Captain Arjun Singh, Distinguished Flying Cross, by Captain R. E. Brain on 23rd August 1947. सर्विस names of the gallant ones along with the date and type of aircraft which they flew from december 1953 onwards are inscribed on the marble slabs the memorial is located at main dispersal which is also a central place where ceremonial activities like station parade hollow square etc are organized the memorial was contrived of marble slabs replicating a teardrop 